Hey guys, it's Brendan from Heads Up Display. Well, HUDCon 2 was officially a success. We had a great turnout, awesome panels, fantastic cosplayers, and a huge raffle with some excellent prizes. Comic books, video games, figures, so many prizes. Too many to count, actually. There was so much stuff, even I won something. Ninja Reflex for the DS. Well, I played it, and now I'm going to review it for some reason. So let's get this over with. Licensed by EA in 2008, Ninja Reflex is a short collection of six touchscreen minigames based around training your reflexes and becoming a ninja master. Sensei will be your guide, providing you with ancient ninja wisdom as you play through the same six boring minigames over and over ad nauseum. The minigames themselves are standard ninja fare, so let's do a quick run through. You've got catching flies with chopsticks, catching fireflies, catching koi fish, blocking attacks with a sword, blocking attacks with a nunchuck, and finally tossing ninja stars at dummies. You probably noticed that some of these games sound a bit similar, and you'd be right. Although each game has some slight differences, over many hours of gameplay these games start to blend together and feel pretty indistinguishable. They even throw in some variations of each game in a shallow attempt to add some depth, like only catch a certain color of firefly or don't miss one sword block. But really, it just seems like padding, which makes sense given the small amount of base content that's in the game as is. Let me put this into perspective here for a moment. In order to beat the game, you have to achieve the rank of black belt by climbing through all 11 belt ranks. In order to earn a belt, you have to complete five of the six mini games. Then you have to take a belt test, which consists of playing three more randomly selected mini games. If you pass and move up a rank, an extra variation of each game is unlocked, which you must also complete in order to move up to the next rank. If you fail the belt test though, you'll have to complete three mini games and their variations all over again from scratch. So, assuming you never fail a single belt test, which is unlikely, the absolute minimum number of times you have to play each mini game in order to achieve black belt is a staggering 50 times each. Also included in the game is a meditation mode, a baffling addition that isn't a free play mode or an endless mode or anything good like that, but instead is an actual guided meditation session led by Sensei. Being the dedicated reviewer that I am, I gave the meditation a try, but I just couldn't keep my composure listening to the goofy stereotypical voice of Sensei telling me to inhale and exhale. Alright, let's wrap this up. Is Ninja Reflex a good game? No. Is it a bad game? Well, not necessarily. I will admit that the game has a nice presentation and decent graphics for the DS, and the mini games, though lacking depth, are nice distractions that will keep you busy if only for a little while. Consider this though, Fruit Ninja, one of my favorite smartphone games, packs more depth and replayability into a single reflex-oriented game than Ninja Reflex does with all six of its mini games combined, and for about 19 bucks cheaper, no less. What Ninja Reflex is, is boring, and in my opinion, that's one of the worst things a video game can be. Sure, it might have kept me playing for the first few hours, but let's just say if I'd accidentally dropped the cartridge in between my couch cushions, I wouldn't have bothered to fish it out. HUD gives Ninja Reflex two stars. Thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more great reviews just like this one. Till next time, I'm Brendan, and this is Heads Up Display.